name's Keita. I'm calling from Massachusetts. Wonderful and to I hear just from had you. a question. I wanted to yeah. see if there were any loved ones in spirit who had a message for me. I'm going through some things right now, and it'd be nice to hear from them. Okay, so the first thing, I typically don't do this. Typically, I ask for a very specific person, but you're so lucky because this really thin man just stepped forward. He's older and he's thin. And I feel like if this is not your dad, it was um, a relative of, it's from it's from the fa father side of your family, the, the pa paternal, paternal side of your family. Um, okay. This guy is very thin. He may not have been very thin throughout his life, but end of life, because he's showing me, like usually when they show up in a suit, that's like how they looked at end of life because they get like their final viewing in in their best best clothes. I, I so want to cry, girl. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. There's a lot of heaviness with his energy. Whomever this is, they had a very... Um, Ooh, they had a very, 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 very hard life, a very difficult life. Um, I'm not going to tell you everything they're telling me right now. What I am going to say is their energy on this earth, on this plane, when they were here, it was very heavy, but it, it was very heavy mostly because of the things that they saw, the things that they experienced. And... Um, this might not be the person you were hoping was going to come through, okay? I, there's They're acknowledging I'm probably the last person she wants to hear from, but what they are also saying is that I'm the exact person she needs to hear from. And be, maybe okay. because of all of the struggles that this person went through, is why this person is the one to talk to you. Now, I'm assuming this person is older, but it might have been somebody who aged very quickly in this life and just looked very old when they passed. I'm gonna tell you why I'm saying that is because the song they're singing for you. Oh, they know music is not one of my gifts. Um, you got to keep your head up. By, I think it's by Tupac. Yeah, and no, Tupac does not sing like that. <laughs> Tupac. Okay. If, if Tupac heard that, he would be like, girl, do never sing my song again. Um, no, no, no. You don't mind. You, you don't know mind. what, but you know what song I'm talking about, right? That I wish I could rap. Yeah. I wish, I wish music was one of my gifts, but I don't complain because girl, I got, I got mad skills from the other side, so I'm all good with that. I'm down 100% with those being my gifts, right? I don't need to sing. I'm sorry for what I put people listening to me to me through. But, okay, so here's the thing. Right, This is – he's showing me a corner, and it's like a street on New York, and it's this big skyscraper building, and he's saying, you're going to – you're, you're so freaking close. That's not the word he's using. You're so freaking close to going around this corner. And then like everything up to the corner is all gray. And then as soon as you hit this corner and you round this corner, it all turns full color and vibrancy. Now I'm going to tell you, you have some serious hardcore blocks and this comes from ancestral lineage locks so what i'm going to do is uh we have ancestral and lineage blocks i get a yes on that i'm going to clear them oh and i'm going to say by mid-month you're going to have some of the answers you're looking for and now there are four women four women four women from the other side and i i'm running i'm I'm, I'm actually over my 30 minutes, but I'm going to finish you. Not finish you, but finish for you. Um, th there are four women that just stepped in with this man, and they all have their hands on him, and they're saying um, they are all working together. Oh, God, girl. Oh, I'm going to cry. I just have the goosebumps all over, and there is so much love coming through. You are about to get, I'm so happy I'm finishing this because you're about to give up hope. You're about to say, I'm done. I'm, 
I'm calling this quits. I just, I don't know what to do anymore. And they want you to know that. Oh, Tony, don't do that. Oh, girl, I'm so sorry. You're going to make me cry. Don't um, do that. Okay, so they're letting you know, do not, do not just like wake up like you woke up. And I, whatever that means for you, wake up like you woke up, like you know, like you know, like you know, this world is yours. It belongs to you. There is no, oh, Jesus, there is no, no, no excuses. You, everything is at your feet is the way they're saying it. And even though things are a little bit difficult right now, you are just going to uh, wake up in the morning and you're going to fly through the day. They are coming to you in your dreams and th there's a total of five of them and they are just letting you know that it's, it's, it's all right there. Just turn that corner. Just take one more step and you're going to, you're going to turn that corner and you're going to be there and it's going to be solid and you're going to be so excited for what comes next. So I want you like for the rest of the day and the rest of the week and the rest of the month, I just want you to say, I deserve better. I know better. Show me what comes next. Show me what's next. Give me what's next. I'm I'm ready. Okay, that's it. That's your oh thank goodness. That's your mantra. I'm ready. Bring it. I'm ready. Bring it. That's what they want to say to you. Okay, love. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I want to say to you, Tony. You are thank you. You are thank so you for being the conduit. You are so welcome. And remember, listen, um, you also I yes. know I'm so far over my time right now, girl. Uh, you also have a business in you, so they want you to start thinking about your side thing and start developing <laughs> that because you know what? I've said it in every show, and I'm saying it again. If if there ain't a job, make a job. If there ain't a business hiring you, you make a business and you hire people. Don't I don't care if you just become a manager of one person or uh, you start writing articles, whatever it is that's inside of you and you already know what it is, girl, let it out because the world needs more of that. The, right now, the world needs more of what you have inside of you to come out and shine, okay? Okay, okay. Oh. thank you so let much. Just, and let thank me just say, and I know, just say thank you. Oh because, my. Like, thank you for being conduit and thank you for feeling what you feel. And I also want to thank my ancestors who came through. And I especially want to thank, like, I, I love them all and I want to thank them all. And I thank the gentleman who came through because I don't know my dad. So yeah, I to have feel, a representative from his side of family show up is a really big deal. So I'm, I'm grateful. Yeah, even if you don't know them, they know you and they want you to know that they are solid and true for you and they're not going anywhere. Um, I mean, you have great, 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 great aunties on the other side that are fighting for you. And they're just saying, you got to keep your head up. You got to keep your head up. <laughs> okay, I'm done singing. That's it. <laughs> That's it. But you, it's absolutely Thank my you. pleasure. And I'm so happy that I could come through and I could give you whatever guidance they wanted to. And I'm going to, um, she's moving forward. I'm going to do a clearing, one last clearing for everybody listening, re-listening, uh, moving forward. And um Clear that, and I, and I cannot wait. Please keep me posted and get that business from inside you to outside you, okay? Will do. Thank you, love. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, I'm going to come over here to my YouTube folks. Hey, hi. Thank you so much for hanging in there, YouTube. Um, I just want to quick go down the line and say... Um, Thank you to some of the people. And thank you. Uh, please help clear all blockages if there are any. Okay, so we are blocked. Oh, yeah. And, you know, M, when I'm clearing, we are stuck. That's the same thing as clearing we are blocked, okay? And then um, I'm going to go down. Jackie, oh, thank you. You're amazing too, girl. I love you so much. Um, Eddie, hey, Eddie, what's up? 
Um, I need to know if my father talking to him. I can't read this. So let me move my screen over a little bit, Eddie, to see what you're saying here. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Eddie, real quick, I'm going to answer your question. Um, the show is only supposed to be 30 minutes, but clearly I can not track time to save my life. But, Eddie, I'm going to tell you, yes, uh, all the time, all the time, all the time. Um, don't ever doubt it. Don't ever doubt it. Every last word. What I'm hearing is every last word, every last word, every last word. I'm going to scroll up a little bit on my list just to be able to see if there are any other questions or that I can answer for anyone. Hopefully um, everybody's still hanging on. I'm sorry it took me a moment to get to you, but my priority is the callers. Um, and then I, I come over here and I, I'll do what I can on this side. Um, Oh, encouragement on how to get my life back together. Champagne, girl. Okay, so here's the thing, Champagne. I want you to re-listen to this show and get all those clearings again because, um, you know, getting our life together. I, okay, really quick. How getting our life together according to whom? According, and this is so relevant for everyone. Is this the way who thinks your life should look? Because here's the struggle when we're trying to like put our life together for the way other people think it should look or the way it's always looked. Listen, when we fall apart, it's not to be put back together again. Mm -mm. That's an opportunity to build a whole new freaking you, okay? A whole new freaking life, a whole new existence, not to go back to where you were because where you were caused your life to break apart, right? Yeah. So don't put your life back together again. Build a new life. Think about what do I really want? Who do I really want to be? Where do I really want to be? What do I want this to look like? How do I want to move forward? What's going to give me the greatest amount of joy? And forget, unless you got babies, forget everybody else and everything else. Like, listen, when I'm creating my life, I if I have a man in my life, I don't think about that man. I don't go, well, what does my man want? What does this want? What does that want? Nuh uh. -uh. Mm -mm. Oh no. Oh no. Do you know what I think? What is the most solid thing for my future? This is what I want. This is where I want to be. Let's do this. Let's go this way. Anybody who's supposed to be with me, they will be with me. I don't need to worry about that. If somebody doesn't love or like, what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Well, okay, let's not talk about that. But here I go. Here I grow. Here I glow. I, You have to build champagne. Anybody listening, re-listening, whatever. You have to build your life for your tomorrow. Because nobody is sitting back on their couch saying, huh, how does champagne want me to live my life? girl, that's not happening. So you have to say, you know what? And this is what I do. Okay. I'm going to give you one of my little manifestation law of attraction things that I do. I don't think about how many clients I want. I don't think about um, certain things. I just say, this is this is at the end of the day, this is what I want in. At the end of the month, this is what I want in. However, the universe wants to bring that to me is how they want to bring it to me. Okay. Um, and the biggest thing, Champagne, that I'm getting for you is stop loving people more than they love you. Stop loving people more, giving more to people than they give to you. Stop thinking this is what love looks like. 
just push people out for a minute and work on loving you. And on that, and I hope people are still listening because I'm going to do um, anybody listening, re-listening. And I really, even if you just fast forward it to this point, um, 40 minutes and 59, 41 minutes, um, and replay this over and over and over again until it's there, we're going to clear unconditional self-love. We unconditionally love ourselves. I'm getting a no. Let's clear that. Now, people think loving yourself and liking yourself is egoic. It's quite the opposite. It is completely the opposite. Because not loving yourself comes from fear, and fear comes from the ego. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Argue with the angels. Don't argue with me. I say this all the time. If you don't like something I say, look up and start arguing. Don't argue with me because I don't really care. I'm just a messenger. Yo, just a messenger. Um, we have to love ourselves unconditionally. Because most of us are, are out here walking around going, I just want someone that's going to love me. <laughs> okay, well, love your damn self. Because anything anybody gives you, when they turn and pout and walk their little butt out your door, guess what? They're taking all that they gave you with them. They sure are. So you need to fill you up with you. You need to love you unconditionally. You need to be so solid in who you are and what you are and that you belong here and you have a purpose here and you're, you are the reason for you to create a life and not for that man that sits on the couch next to you, not for your sister, not for your whatever. Maybe they're going to see it and maybe it will help them. But you don't know who's watching you that you're going to influence. You don't know, like, in your day-to-day, -day, the things you do, who's going to be seeing this that's going to learn and grow from it. I've said this before. I will say it again. We are supposed to so shine so brightly as stars down here meaning our soul being on fire, being so lit up with passion for who we are and what we're doing that the heavens can see us. It is not our job to be meek or to fall. It is not our job in any way, shape, or form to concede so we don't hurt somebody else's feelings so we don't outshine those who came before us. It is our job to shine so brightly that we teach those around us and those coming after us to shine like they've never seen anyone shine before. To live that life that exceeds, that breeds light in others. And believe me, you know, as somebody walked away, rejection is protection, which everybody says, for a better selection. Now, if you're in a situation where you're trying to put your life back together or get back to that spot in your relationship or just get something back, stop. And as who says this? Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to sing again, folks. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. If whatever tries to whatever at you, if you're trying to get your life back that didn't even work out, drop it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Walk your booty away and don't stop. Okay, I changed some Snoop Dogg lyrics there. Sorry, Snoop. Not like he's ever going to watch this. Okay, folks, so not too worried about that. But the point is, you don't want that back because that is what puts you where your butt is today. Think better of and for yourself. You don't want to go back to what you had. You don't want to go back to what it was. 
why would you want to do that? If it can't come better, push it. Close the door and lock it. Don't let it in. Because who wants to keep repeating bad karmic, didn't work out life cycles? If you can't be in a place where you are ready, willing, and able to say, I'm done with that, I'm going here, then go back and listen to every single one of my shows until you get enough clearing from every area of wealth and abundance and relationship and self-love that you can say, oh my God, I can't believe I ever put up with that from myself because it all starts in here. It all starts in our heart. It all starts with the amount of love that we have for ourselves. And if we don't have that love for ourselves, guess what? Nobody else is going to be able to show that to us. Because it'll be foreign to us. So we, where we are, right, where we are as far as love for ourselves is what people show up. That's the energy that we are bringing into our life. That's the, that's what's mirroring back to us. And not as a punishment. That's the whole thing. People say, well, this is your karma. No, it's. It's your reflection showing you this is where you are. Fix it. This is what's going on in this little minute, this little minute minute of your life. Don't make it an hour. Don't make it a year. This is a minute of a lack of self-love. Now, take that minute and change it. Change it. Level up. Go up, love yourself. And how do you love yourself if you've never been shown self-love? If you've never had people that you felt like love you, you just start with that little, let's, and again, we have unconditional self-love. Let's clear that. And, and you might have to listen and replay this at the 41 and 48 minute mark a number of times till you get rid of that. But stop judging yourself. Who cares about the past? There's no perfect person walking this earth. There is no person walking this earth that has not made a mistake, that has not done something that they thought was wrong. But there's nothing that you can do that's wrong. It's just something that's teaching you what do I like, what don't I like, what do I want, what don't I want. That's it. If there's something that happens that you didn't like, you say, okay, I don't, I don't do that again. And the next time we can't be so desperate that the next time this job that treats us like crap or this person that doesn't, isn't good to us shows up that we say, well, maybe it will get better. Well, maybe this is like the test they keep talking about. Maybe this is the thing where we go, okay, I'm done with this. I deserve better. We were put here to create and co-create amazing, beautiful, abundant lives. These lives that flourish beyond what anybody before us has done. And we're here to do that not only for us, but for those that are watching us. And maybe, maybe, our immediate family isn't the one who's going to look at it. Like we think we're here to show our immediate family. Who cares if we're not? Somebody somewhere is going to be watching you and going, that's what I want. That's what I, I want to do. That's how I want to shine. You were put here to be this brilliant, amazing light for yourself first. Because if you're not doing it, you sure can't show anybody else how to. You sure won't show anybody else how to. So your job 
is not to put a broken life back together to get back to where you were. Your job, like if you if you drop a glass on the kitchen floor, you don't pick it up and start getting the whatever glue, gorilla, crazy, whatever glue, and trying to put it back together and put water in it to just to watch that water fly out of it or fall apart again or get cut by the glass. You sweep it up, you throw that in the garbage, and you don't think about it again. The next, like a month later, you're not like, oh my God, that glass that broke. No, no. Mm -mm. You, buy, you, you get a new glass, a better glass, or you just drink out of plastic. I don't know. Don't hate on me because I said plastic. Who cares? Okay. The It's the point. The point is, or drink out of a, a bowl or a cup. I don't know. <laughs> I don't care. The idea is you don't try to put something that's broke back together again. You say, I deserve so much better than that. The reason that fell apart is because it wasn't supposed to be. It was never, ever supposed to be. You didn't take the cues of, okay, this isn't serving my highest good. This isn't bringing me the joy and the love that I deserve. So if I'm not strong enough to change this, if I'm not strong enough to walk away, guess what? My angels, my ancestors, my guides, they're going to tear these walls down. They're going to break this house apart and they're going to help me build better. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, remember, it's your job to create the miracles in your life. Love you.